before without a G2 or a Fnatic, but it's within touching distance for both these two teams. Oh, Harmon and G2! It is Rogue falling down in the final moments. Mad Lions may end it right here. Armut Star solidifies the win. It's the nail in the coffin. The wave's there. Mad Lions are going to win. So at the start of the split, I didn't really expect to be first place for sure. But after a while, it became kind of clear that uh, we could actually fight for the first place. My ambition changed to a lot higher level because I see what I'm capable of now. The Mad Lions were able to capitalize on it and get themselves a kill. Ghost now booted up, flash huge, and Kaiser, they're looking for him. Kikasa blows the gun, land with Glacier Fisher as well, and Ghost is down! <laughs> Look at the land up, Aloya! What an equalizer there is! He's found the flank of the Mad Lions! Oh, we're gonna take down RNG! What? Hey, turn around. I actually am excited to, to face Weibo because everyone is already speculating what is going to be what is going to be good. I don't think we can ever know until we see it. Whilst Allura is not a name that makes me go like this guy is insane individually, he's obviously very good at playing together with his team, so a very respectable opponent. The most interesting about the start of the split for me this year round is that no one knows what I'm coming out with, but I expect to come out swinging because... Weibo flashes forward! Weibo going in! I know what's up. I personally think that Bipo is gonna be like the top jungler in the league. After Elia, of course, and Inspire. <laughs> and self main most likely. <laughs> this is heartbreaking for Z9, they're so close, but they just get outplayed at every opportunity. Say it with me. Yo, ya, el yo, ya, el yo. I think that uh, Bipo and Hailey will for sure be dangerous because I don't, they are not scared. Me and Hillisang are no longer in a low distance relationship. It's me and Hilly against the world. Last split, we were doing many things wrong, and when it came to being on the same page, we were not. I think that would be the difference between uh, this split, Fnatic, and the previous one. 40 seconds into the game, but Genex, maybe he can turn it back and flash away from Hillisang. Genex trying to finish the job, but Genex, will he go down as well? It looks like it. Upset doesn't even need the lane phase to start before he starts putting kills on the board. Popo gets one, Upset gets one. Jezu, disaster for SK. Like, it needs to happen, like, they will make it happen for sure. It's for sure gonna be something like scary. They either go, like, I think it really goes either really bad or like, really well. Maybe the supremacy, like, is no longer for Fnatic or G2s, and... I think it's a good way for, for us, maybe Fnatic, to prove that we can become what we used to be, which means the, the best. I don't know what to expect, but I think it's gonna be a bloodbath with a lot of fighting. Blades with Resolve secondary as we now see a bit of training here between Humanoid and Niske. I like it. Aggressive level one from the Akali, but if she gets those passive procs in, it's very Akali favor. Yeah, this really benefits Humanoid. You can never really gap close level one in the lane phase itself, there. but if you can get it. As the shield of Daybreak does go onto a minion, but the flash forward for Kaiser, he's got the cooldown up in time. Now now moving in. Hillisang backing off, but he's got a bit of a shield. Hillisang not quite going down, holding on as Bipo now returns to the bottom lane. It's a TP coming in as well from Niske in the mid lane as Adam's gonna get a solo bolo on the top side. A bit rough, but obviously they turn it around in playoffs and in MSI. Armin now wants a little bit of revenge here. It's ulti versus ulti. Olaf on stop, but does he have enough stats? It looks like he most certainly does. Armin maybe not ready for this. Oh, oh Adam is on the way in, but man, Adam back to back on the solo bolos, walking back under the tower. El Yoya taking some damage. Blippo on the way in, but Blippo may have stayed around too long. Leap back in. Blippo turns for the stun. stun. Kaiser taking the tower. Bear stance. Not available quite. Yes, the Kaiser still has no flash, so I wonder if Whippo's gonna move his way down there. Hang on a second, Niski going aggressive. Stepping forward, doesn't have a whole ton of mana left, but just trying to keep this trade going. But Humanoid just got ultimate back. 
now with no ultimate available. Nissi gonna burn the heal. Shuriken Flip doesn't connect, and Humanoid can uh, scale a bit more comfortably. As Adam could be in trouble, no mana here is gonna be the big issue. No flash either. Ragnarok available, though, means he can make it out to safety. Just gonna walk away on this one, throw back an axe, and get back under tower. But it doesn't look like Armut's done. They know that the ultimate is gone. Dragon has already been taken. Adam just trying to one-shot the wave to make sure that he can punish on this one, but it should be an easy dive for Mad Lions. Adam going down. It's like Mad Renekton, Akali. She can't really face check or look for early fights. She wants to scale and get one or two items. And Whippo's playing both sides. So Adam's stuck in a 1v3, but now they can make a cross-map play. Forward. Ghost coming in for Whippo. Important to note here, he zooms in on that one, but the lockup is there. Whippo now going to be in trouble. It is running out of time. Elia needs to use it soon. Right, there we go. Can he do so? TP now coming into the bottom side of the map. Flash from the wall from Killisang. Whippo's going to be in trouble. That's the stun. Whippo now locked up, trying to run for his life. Lulu can't save him on this one. Heal coming out. Whippo trying to make it to safety. Bear stance might just be enough. Now they're now leaping in, but Humanoid's going to finish the kill. Upset has no room to maneuver. And this one, the cleanse comes out, but it looks like it might be too little too late. That's the stun. El Yoya's going to grab that one. Hillisang is in trouble. That is the double kill for El Yoya. Perfect stopwatch from Kaiser to make it out to safety. They tie it up yeah, one for one. Stepping too far forward. Trouble. That's going to be the wild. Go tries to buy himself a little bit. Of space, but he's gonna go down before the fight even starts. Now it's Whippo caught out as well. This is disaster for Fnatic. Well, so another two kills from Mad Lines. El Yoya has the ultimate if he wants to disable this tower. As he can now step forward. That's big damage coming in. Goes golden, buys a bit more time, but El Yoya's here. El Yoya has the flash as well. Are they gonna commit Adam in the midst of everything? Karzi oh. goes in, but he doesn't get it. Nisky yes, grab what he can. The rest of Mad ready to move. Keep in mind, El Yoya has flash. Armin has flash as well. This is more like it. Whippo will have to face check. Walking away again. Whippo does not have flash. He has ghosts. This is an easy kill pickup. Shockwave not enough. Nisky now going to be in trouble as well as Kaiser goes for the collapse. Here comes the dive. Two game. Kaiser waiting in the darkness. Level 10. Whippo no flash. Cards. He immediately leaps in. They buy a bit more space. Whippo now trying to make it out, but he's just stunned for so incredibly long. He's running as fast as he can, and he's going to live. Whippo gets the kill onto Arma. Damage upsets Finale. outputting with Hillisang next to him. Mad Lions tried to make a pick onto Whippo, but he's too tanky. Humor going for the 1v1 top, though. Nisky no flash. The fact that he landed that he is massive. Good damage onto Nisky. Trying to dash through. Trying to finish the job. Not going to let him walk away this time. Making up for cards he's earlier. Wait, even with Kaiser next to him, it would be even easier. Oh, El Yoya. So this 1v1 was just clean. Look, it's just a straight up dive with no wave. Humanoid so far ahead of this Akali. If Mad Lions play around him, this game would feel a lot easier. The mid play doesn't go in their favor, but Niski without flash. Upset and Hillisang have to be so careful here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Going over the wall, just leaping in onto Upset, trying to buy as much space. Arma goes over as well, but their attention is split. You've still got three members stuck in the pit here. Whippo going forward, a bit of a scattered call coming in for Matt. Adam can just run straight into that pit, but I don't think he's going to. El Yoya flashing back over the wall. It is absolute chaos. Humanoid going back in, but it is the Baron over to the side of Matt. Oh. And now Humanoid just looking to style. That's Niski taken down. Humanoid still alive. Goes invisible, takes out Upset as well. It's the double going over to Karzi. One kill going back to Humanoid. And now Whippo's in trouble too. He doesn't have a flash. The ghost now burned. He has to run for the hills. El Yoya just looking to finish the job. Everything again going in the favor of Mad Lions. It was a scrappy fight, but they get the Baron, they get the kills, and they're moving into the mid lane. Humanoid absolutely styling on Fnatic. Dodges away from the shockwave and solo kills both of the carries of Fnatic. Yes, Karzi was there at the help. Hang on. Maybe Kaiser might die here. Adam does take him down. Humanoid versus Adam. Adam has a fully stacked Conquer. Runescape dueling and Olaf, not the best choice, but the axe will go wide. That's going to be big. Humanoid can try to fire back. And that means Mad Lions can control both side lanes and they can control mid wave. Now they have the option. Do they want to play towards top or bot? Looks like they're playing towards top. And Humanoids won't be wanting Adam, but upset the Hillisanger around. He needs to be careful. Right, goes back in, trying to get some damage down, but there's the wild growth. Immediate shutdown. Gold over to the. You, you can get caught out on side lanes, and that does end up what happening. They get the bot tier 3, but Kaiser might fall as well. Once he comes in, the hell picks as well. Kaiser just getting run down here. There's absolutely no way to get away from this Olaf with so many movement speed steroids. Adam. They want absolutely. to punish Arm Adam back. Double TP now coming in. Armut on the way forward. Adam can get some good damage down, but there's no way he can win this with more health coming in. He's going to try to run to safety, the flash back out, the Gore Drinker to heal. Now Hillisang is in the area, the shield coming in, the Whimsy as well, he's running, but he might not be fast enough. He has to turn and he will go down. They've got more than enough wave clear with no Baron on the side of Mad, but Mad are strong and they are not scared. They're just going to walk right into the base. Solar Flame managed to connect, Kaiser now going forward, Whippo going to be in trouble. Wave. Just barely able to make it out, Karzi trying to finish the job, but he can't quite get it done. Upset now stepping forward, knows that he's uncontested for now. Armin having to dash back out to safety, but eyes on the car. Magma, stepping forward, the damage is good, the team is there to back him up, and Humanoid cannot find a way into this back line. Yeah, Humanoid didn't have ultimate up for this fight, so he couldn't really get involved. TP. TP coming behind, that's Adam. Bit of a slow, but it's not going to connect onto Adam. Adam now walking forward. Humanoid should have the tools. He has the ulti now. Has to use the first stack through a champion, though. Can't just leap out to safety. In the meantime, it's Cloud Drake going down, soul point. Oh, but this Baron's just gone. It is gone. 
Fnatic just cannot get into the area. They have to nice stay. Oh, yeah, pushing in mid, trying to get the mid inhibitor. Mad Lion sieging towards his top side. Maybe Adam wants to find an engage. Done under armor, double dash back out alongside the Strider Breaker. Now Karth is going to be in trouble. He can try to reposition, but only the enemy backline. Now it is the death ball of Fnatic. They've got a Kogma, they've got an Udyr, they've got an Olaf. They just keep running forward. Arma trying to dash to safety, but the Polymorph comes out. There's no room. Humanoid wants to get something done, but his team is just getting slowly but surely shredded. Commitments. And then netting themselves gold leads, and they're able to farm up. And they might be doing it again here. Now trying to find Elio. Elio has to run for the hill. Shockwave comes out. Looks like the ball pulled back there. A bit of a tragedy for the side of Fnatic. They're getting the threats alive. They need to defend this top inhibitor. Fnatic are going to have to find an engage eventually. Lupo running out of mana. Humanoid off to the side, but they just can't overcommit onto the Akali Shield, just dash away. It's a similar story for Arma. It's a flash out from Karzi, though. No shockwave, and now Mad Lions want to turn. Mad Lions want to find the fight. Hillisang going to be in trouble. Force to use Wild Growth on himself. Karzi in the midst of everyone. Arma dashing through. Whippo alive for a little bit, but it's just not enough. Mad Lions pull the trigger the second they see that cooldown used, and they find the fight in their favor. Adam wants to get something done, wants to turn, wants to burn. Maybe he's going to be able to get Arma. Is going forward. The Gore Drinker coming in. The Olaf is incredibly strong. If he can stick to a target, but Mad Lions are turning back. Niski caught out, he goes golden. Upset, still untouched for now. Fnatic, can they hold this humanoid in the midst of everything? Adam still going, Adam still alive. Upset and Adam versus the world. And it is Upset and Adam who come out on top. Karzi and Humanoid waiting. Do they focus the champions? Do they focus the Nexus? The minions are here. Surely they should be able to finish it. Karzi stepping forward. The damage is there. The damage is not enough, however. Upset has to run. He cannot retreat into his own base. Still, the auto attacks are coming in. Mad Lion's eyes on the prize. Adam leaping forward. The Nexus is slow. finding one. Humanoid just needs to get something back, but Upset just walks back to the Nexus to make sure Humanoid cannot turn. The dash through. Humanoid going in. Hillisang is here. The Nexus! Oh, can he get it? One auto! Whoa, that 2v2 went on for so long! Find the fight. If they lost that third inhibitor, then they would be hugging their Nexus Towers for the rest of the game. So in the end, they tried to pull the trigger, 